I'm an old friend of uh, Tacitus Kilgore. You used to pay him to go find some items for you. He's moved on now, I'm afraid. Tacitus, how can I forget? Well, better seven years late than never, I suppose. Jim Milton. Charmed. I got the plunes and the orchids that you asked for. You did? Oh, the Duchess of Sorrento will be most happy with you. She's an old friend, the Duchess. Gone to see it a little now, but in her youth, oh, she was the most beautiful woman in all of Italy. Oh, a Neapolitan pearl. I mean, even I would... No. Bellissima. Oh, quite astonishing. You're good. Oh, you're very good. Algernon, I whispered to myself. I said, this man has the eye of an artist. No, he's better than an artist. He's a man of taste, a connoisseur like you. Oh, that's what I murmured to myself, and I wasn't wrong. No, sir, I was quite right. Marvelous. How much do I get? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, at least a hundred dollars. Mm, this should set you right. I'm sorry it's cash. I prefer something less vulgar, but such is life. I'm fine with cash. Anything else you need? Me? No, I'm fine. There is one thing. More orchids are. Quite a particular list, but once again, I will make it worth your troubles. Okay. It's a little something I'm making for the uh, Baroness von Buchwald. <sighs> you know how she is. Very demanding. Dreadfully so. The best ones they always are. Thank God you came, James. I was panicking. I cannot believe the pressure this woman puts me under. Which woman? The Baroness, of course. She writes the most dreadful missives from Baden Baden. Still, now I will finish her creation. Oh, my lord. And after that, it's never ending. If you keep paying, I'll keep looking. I don't like to impose. Keep paying, man. It's not an imposition. Well, and here's the money for the orchids for that ghastly baroness. And next, I think we'll work on this. It's a, uh, displayer cabinet of curios for the Contessa de Bellagio's new palazzo on Lake Garda. <laughs> She's asked me to summer with her there next year, but, well, I find the whole thing a little gaudy. Italy is just so overrun with Americans just now, don't you find? Yeah, it's a real problem. And it's the worst kind of Americans. Financiers, New Yorkers, they're such vulgarians. What is it that you need? The silly old thing has a penchant for lizards. So, I'm making her a series of centerpieces focused on alligator eggs and orchids. It's about duality. I'm all about duality. Oh, well, here. And remember, James, take your time and bring me nothing. Nothing but the best. I'll try. Oh, hello, stranger. Hello, Algernon. Well, then, did you get those eggs? Oh, yes. Oh, you're a wonderful fellow, James. A man of uh, rare distinction. Herculean labors performed almost effortlessly in the pursuit of art. Oh, oh the Contessa, well, she's a terrible hag, but she'll be happy. I hope so. What do you think of this hat? Very, uh, exotic. I made it for you. For me? <clears throat> I'm just, it's, it'd be wasted on me, Algernon. It's too fine for a man of my coarseness. At least try it on. Nah. Please. Okay. Here we go. As you see, it's not exactly me. No, you're right. It's all wrong. I went forte, and I should have gone molto adagio. Here's your money for the eggs and the flowers. Got anything else? 
Oh, but I've imposed too much already, and I'm ashamed of the millinery. You pay well. It's easy enough work. I do need some more orchids. Fairly rare ones. Quite a few. It's for a cabinet I'm making for a wonderfully spoiled little girl on Fifth Avenue. I thought you hated New Yorkers. Oh, I do. I'm just so dreadfully weak-willed. It's not the money. It's the chance to make these things. Oh, I wanted to say no, James. I really did. But somehow, I never can. I'll see what I can do. Oh, and uh, James, I'll make you something. Honestly, I'm fine. Oh, it's the Contessa. She's insatiable. Insatiable. Thank God you're here. Thank you, God. I've been eating for days. I've gained so much weight. It's the worry, James. It's killing me. Calm down, Algernon. This is calm. You should have seen me yesterday. I nearly ate the cat. She says such cruel things. Well, I got the things for the girl in New York. That strumpet, I don't care about her. She's trade. She's common. Her father lends money. It's so vulgar. Oh, damn her. It's the aristocracy. It's the old families. It's the last of the old guard. It's the Contessa James. I love her. Well, love or not, you owe me for these. Oh, money, dear boy, I don't give a fig for money. Here, here, take this money. Money is beneath me. This is quite a lot. Enjoy it. Uh, spend it on love, on beauty, on amore. Sure. Now, James, I need more orchids. Here, here's the list. These are very rare. I plan to declare my love like a god. In flowers, in beauty. Oh, all my life, the times we shall spend by the lake in Lombardy. Oh, James. It sounds... Divine. It sounds divine. Oh, there you are. I got you those orchids. I don't need them anymore. Why? What happened? It's the Contessa. She's, uh... She's married another. I'm, s I'm so sad. I'm sorry. She left me for a postman. <laughs> she married a postman. <laughs> I mean, it's, she's, she's a countess and a postman. I mean, the shame of it. I, I mean, if it was a prince, I could have coped with it, but a, a postman? Life is extremely challenging at times. James, I want you to kill me. What? I, I have a gun. That's quite a weapon. <laughs> These are Tahitian pearls. Tahiti? Have you been? Nearly, but I guess we never made it. It's not for people like us, James. Please, just kill me. No. Then give me the gun. Calm down. I think it's best for both of us if I hold on to the gun. I'm so ashamed, James. Don't worry about it. Now I'll have to go to Baltimore to see my awful sister. Not to lay guard. To smell the gardenias. Huh. I'm not sure what to say. Here's your payment for the orchids. Thank you. I'm too old for love, James. Too old to live without it. Wise words. But art will see me through, James. Surely it shall. Oh, ah, here. I promised you I'd make something. I have your hat. <sighs> Pretend to like it. I couldn't have another rejection. Not now. It's wonderful. 
Take care of yourself, Algernon. Goodbye, James. Think of me fondly. We're just about done, my friend. Stand.